felt, oh my days, that's so hot. But I think that's my favorite because there are too many foods that's my favorite tasty. A cultural exchange here at St. B School. And for the pupils here today, a chance to learn about traditions spanning thousands of years. Natasha Potts, ITV News, St. B's. You were the ox. Yeah, you were the ox I was born, yeah. Gonna find out. Gonna find out. Gonna find out. Answers on a postcard. Now, one of the most talented pianists in the world is performing a series of shows across our region this weekend. Since Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Anna Fedorova has been organising benefit concerts for the victims of the war. Anna, who was born in Ukraine, regularly performs at famous venues, and a recent live performance had 35 million views on YouTube. Now this evening she's at Netherby Hall near Longtown and Callum Watkinson has been to hear her play. Wonderful, just a little expert excerpt from Mazursky and just a taste of what the audience here at Netherby Hall can expect tonight when they come to see a world-renowned Ukrainian pianist, Anna Fedorova. Anna, thank you so much uh, for joining us. Great now, pleasure. You've, you've played all over the world in some very prestigious venues, Carnegie Hall in New York, the Royal Albert Hall. What brings you up here to Carlisle? Well, I'm very happy to be here. That's uh, actually... A third time for me with Absolute Classics and Alex McQuiston who invited me. Of course, from very beginning, I really felt very strongly that uh, something has to be done, and as a musician, there was possible to do something. And uh, the first, the first two concerts actually, which uh, I was involved in organizing, were in the Concertgebouw in Amsterdam and in the Hague, uh, in the new hall Amara. And they both took place on the same day, and together they raised over 150,000 euros. Mainly all the funds were going into the humanitarian organizations. And uh, some also are now raised for supporting the Ukrainian young musicians who came to the Netherlands, because I also started together with my uh, husband the Music Academy during the last year in The Hague. And we have many Ukrainian refugees studying there, so they all need help, of course, also. And for the people back home living through what they're living through, is there a way in which music helps them in, in a way that perhaps other forms of assistance can't really touch, do you think? Yes, I think music has uh, some special, really strong healing power, emotional healing power. Uh, music can also bring hope when Otherwise, hope seems to be lost. And, yeah, I think music is not saving lives in the literal sense, uh, as the medicine or doctors, but it does save lives in spiritual sense and in emotional sense. Indeed. Well, thank you so much for taking time out from your rehearsal to join us. Now, for those uh, uh, not lucky enough to be coming here tonight to see Anna or all the other two concerts in Kerkubri and Dumfries, we've got a little bit more music for us. What are you going to play next? Uh, I'm going to play a part of uh, one of the very exciting pieces I love to perform. It's the Ritual Dance of Fire by Manuel de Falia. <laughs> Mariah's watching wow, over huh? there. She's so talented. That's amazing. amazing. Isn't it? Yeah. Right now it says here, Ross, cold but beautiful. Uh, I can that's me. That's, 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 that's me. Yeah. 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 Right? 